Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and today, something pretty cool. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores. I buy stuff, and then I sell it again online. And I do that, for the most part, on eBay. And it's a pretty solid sales day. Today, we're looking at the last 24 hours or so out of my eBay store. A lot of cool things moving out. Some viewer sales in here, including a good amount of ducks. And one thing that we sold for a charity that went really, really well. We're going to talk about that. Let's take a look at what's sold. Pretty solid pile going out here on Tuesday. And one of these not actually going out. We're going to talk about that. But first, let's run through the things that we sold and that I am going to have to bring to the post office today. Like this guy, the Chilton Repair Manual. Keep an eye out for these things. Usually these repair manuals will sell anywhere between about eight and 10 bucks. Sometimes you do come across those that sell for a lot more, but you can very often get them at garage sales for a dollar, and some of them sell very well, easy money. This is for the Subaru Coupe Sedan and Wagon, 1985 to 1996. I got two of these. They're not real high dollar. But, like I said, easy money, $7.99 plus shipping. Let's do this one first. Sir Elton John, Dream Ticket, four destinations, four DVDs. Still new in the shrink wrap. I paid up for this. I paid $5 for it at a, uh, it was like a fundraiser garage sale. And uh, I, I knew I wouldn't get a ton, but that we would still make money. $17.93 plus shipping for that. This one is better. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This one on Blu-ray, out of print, and it's actually going internationally. Yep, you can't get through a what sold on Mountain Man Treasure without at least one international sale. At least, I hope you can't. You don't today. Jay and Bob headed to France. 41.11 euros. We're going to make, uh, I don't know, 25 bucks, something like that, off of that one. Jefferson Airplane takes off. Now, this is a very good vinyl. This one's in not great shape, you can see. I mean, this is a listener, right? This is not a great-looking album at this point, but it's a great album. And so I still picked it up. I knew it would sell, and it did for $9.98 plus shipping. How many of you remember these games? Oh, hold on there. Number Munchers? I don't remember Super Munchers, but Number Munchers. There is an English version. You remember this from uh, from school? How many are about the same age as I am, I guess? You remember these guys? I remember playing this in the old computer lab. And I found these at a sale. Bought them as much for nostalgia as anything else. But I was pretty sure that somebody else would want to buy them for nostalgia. And I bundled them up with a whole bunch of stuff. I, I'm a couple dollars into them and I thought I'm going to sell them together. And I got an offer, I counter offered and they accepted that $21 plus shipping for those two games. Pretty cool. Now we've got one of these guys. I've got only a, maybe one left. It's Audubon Wild Republic and there he sings. This is from their Backyard Birds series. It's The Sparrow and got these at an estate sale for I think it was Kind of random dog hair on there. I think it was $3 that I paid for these. Some of them went for a pretty good money. A couple of them did. This guy, I think, still a pretty solid turnaround. $19.19 plus shipping. Miss Me Jeans. They're not worth what they used to be. The, uh, the market has definitely come down a little bit, but they do still sell if you can get them for cheap. Now, too often at garage sales, they're still trying to sell them for $25 a piece around here sometimes. But... If you can get them for cheap, you can still make money on them. These sold on an offer that I sent out. $23.71 plus shipping. And uh, you fold these up burrito style. They will fit in a padded flat rate envelope. Boy Scouts of America, a first aid kit. This is pretty cool. And uh, I overpaid for this. It has uh, a name sketched in the back there. Sketched? No, etched. That's the word I'm looking for. It's early when I'm recording this. Boy Scouts of America official first aid kit by Johnson & Johnson. Like I said, overpaid intentionally just because I thought it was really cool and I wanted to save it. I think I paid $3 for that, knowing it was 
probably worth around 10 and that's about what it was worth. Sold on an offer that I sent out from the 1940s. Pretty neat. $9.48 plus shipping. All right. We sold. Well, let, you know what? Let's wait. Let's wait on the hats. Let's do these real quick right here. This is Cat and Jack. A, not worth a ton, but this was a fill a bag sale at a, uh, at a garage sale. So I shoved a whole bunch of shorts for $5 into a bag. New with tags. Why wouldn't I grab those? And they sold for $9.48 plus shipping. So one pair paid for an entire bag of clothes. Of course I'm going to do that. This one, a viewer sale. Actually, Philip, he sent me a message after the purchase and said to uh, keep making the great content. I can't promise it'll be great, Philip, but I'm going to keep making content. This one is uh, not, not super valuable. It was worth maybe $5. Just a basic green hat. Uh, CC is the uh, the branding on it. And I put it up at uh, around 5 bucks and sent out an offer. And Philip counter-offered me, and it was plenty good. $4.20 plus shipping for that. Philip, thank you so much. Here, we've got Nike Dry Fit. I tell you guys to pick up these hats. This is used, and it's still a solid pickup. If you can find these, they're very lightweight. People like them for uh, running, biking, any outdoor activity. And this one sold for $15.19 plus shipping. This, pretty cool, Yellowstone National Park hat. And uh, I like the look. It's got an embroidered bear on there, I got these at a sale actually just down the street from my house, like three or four houses down. They were having a sale, and I picked up three or four of these. I can't remember exactly how many. Same hat, just different colorways. And so there's a white and black one. I think there's a red and black one. I feel like maybe there's another. And these, they're still new. They've got the cardboard inside. $15.99 plus shipping. Now, let's talk about this one because this is the thing that sold. That turns out I'm not shipping out. All right, ducks heading on out. Well, and some non-ducks as well. Look at this guy, octopus with a little ink blot on his head. Pretty cool. And this one is, yeah, that's a little rhinoceros. I know, not ducks. I got some not ducks in this last order that I made and thought, you know what? We're going to list them anyway because, you know, they're, they're duck adjacent. They're duck friendly. We'll mix things up a little bit in the old duck pond. And so these, going out to Allie. Allie, thank you so much. I sure appreciate you. You know I love you. Then we've got these guys, the Glitter Ducks. We're actually all out of Glitter Ducks now. I listed a handful of those. All of these actually listed in the Chicago airport, and they all sold. So we got Glitter Red, Pink, Green, Oh, smack in the camera. And gold. They're all going out to Kane. Kane, uh, former Army, and said he appreciates what we're doing here. 10% of uh, every duck purchased, of course, goes to the Gary Sinise Foundation to uh, help support wounded veterans and first responders, programs, all sorts of cool stuff. We're going to talk a little bit about that in a minute. But Kane runs Kane is Able. Go check out the store. I love the name, man. That is awesome. Cool stuff in that store for sure. Here we've got a nice collection. Look at that, we've got another non-duck. We've got the giraffe and also an orange glitter duck and this little guy with his purple hat on and I think, yeah, he's a squeaker. And those three going out to Marcy. So Marcy, thank you so much. We got, uh, let's see, there's another little critter back there. I called him the grumpy owl and he's going out to Cheryl. Cheryl, thanks so much. Cheryl likes watching the video. Says, thanks for keeping them family friendly. Cheryl, that's the aim every time. Thanks so much. We got a quartet here and the duck is going to help keep things in a row. And then the other three critters are eventually apparently going to end up and Christmas stockings, which I think is a cool idea. So we got the spotted duck back there. We got the chicken, the frog, and a cool little blue penguin. And that group is going to Melissa at Fines and Deals. So check out that store. Melissa, thank you so much for picking those up. And then we've got one more set over here. We got blue glitter and black glitter. I like those guys. We've got a brown guy back here, and look at this. I, is it a duck? Is it a porg? 
I don't know what it is, but it is now sold and going to its new home. It's going to Roberto. Roberto, thank you so much. I sure appreciate you. So great sales, great ducks and other critters flying on out of here. And uh, like I said there, 10% of each of those sales, of each of those ducks or other rando critters, goes to the Gary Sinise Foundation. They work to help wounded military and first responders, and they do a whole lot of fantastic things. In fact, I'll put their link uh, underneath in the description if you want to check it out and see just what it is that the Gary Sinise Foundation does and how many people and how many things they've actually done to help. It, it's a really, really cool organization, and it's something that I've been really excited to be able to help out this year. I, th I think it's been a neat thing. And so one of the things that happened is seeing that we've been doing that with the Ducks, uh, Ryan, the Vintage Viking, sent us a Gary Sinise Foundation hat. In fact, I've got it over here. Let me grab it. So here we go. Really cool. It's got their logo on the front, the digital camo embroidered on the back there. It, it It's a cool hat. And I thought, you know what? Let's run a charity auction for this thing. 100% of the proceeds going to the Gary Sinise Foundation. And so we put that up. Many of you bid on that. It actually ended last night. And ultimately, Angel, great supporter of the channel and of the store, shopping in the store all the time. Uh, Angel came in and made a purchase, $152.50. That's huge. I mean, that, that's a big... And actually, we got somebody else that messaged me afterwards saying, hey, I missed out on the hat. Is there somewhere I can donate to directly? That... that that's incredible. And a couple of things make this even more incredible. Uh, I don't think he would mind me telling you that Angel is from Puerto Rico. And if uh, if you've been watching the news at all, you saw that over the weekend, Hurricane, I think it was Hurricane Fiona, is that right, hit uh, Puerto Rico. And uh, just about five years ago, they got hit by another hurricane, uh, just starting to sort of get back, I think. And uh, now... They've been hit again. A lot, a lot of damage. Uh, Angel actually was was not there at the time. He's uh, out uh, out of the country, and so he he was okay. But uh, it sounds like you know, hearing from him, there no real phone service, electricity, water. I mean, it, it it's a mess down there in Puerto Rico. And despite all you know, all of that going on at home, Angel came in and bid on our charity auction and won that. What he said was you know what, I'm going to pay for it, run it again, and raise more money for the charity. So we're going to do that. So we're, we're going to put this up for auction one more time. And so we'll raise some more money for the Gary Sinise Foundation. And Angel, uh, eBay makes me send out something, right? So I sent you actually a hat out of my personal collection. So you've got something headed your way. It's certainly not worth what you paid to get it. But uh, I know you didn't pay for the hat. You paid for the charity. So Angel... Thank you so much. We are going to run this again. You are going to get one of my personal hats. And uh, interestingly, just to show you how cool Angel is on top of that, I actually, when I put this up last Monday night, I screwed up. I meant to start an auction at $9.99. I put it up as a buy it now at $9.99. And Angel bought it. And so I had to contact Angel and say, hey, I screwed up. I was going to run that as an auction. Is it okay if I cancel that and run it as an auction? He said, yeah, go ahead. I, I don't mind that at all. Raise great money for the charity. And then he came in and, uh, well, did what he did. I did some research today. I've been digging into various charities. Any charity that we put out there on this channel, we want to make sure that it's legit. And that uh, not only is it legit, but that the bulk of the money that you donate to that charity actually goes to the cause that it's supposed to go to. And so I've actually found one that I believe is really good and that is going to help a lot of people in Puerto Rico as they work to recover from another devastating hurricane. And so I'm going to put the link to that down below if you want to read about what it is that they do. If you feel led to, to donate to that cause, you know, you, that's, that's available to you. I, I just wanted to make that available and put that information down below in honor of, uh, in honor of Angel. And plus the fact that it's just a good thing. It's the right thing to do. The reselling community is such a great group of people. Uh, it's funny, I actually got a comment on one of my older videos today saying, uh, thieves, a lot of you, you're all thieves, you know, you're, you're jacking up the markets and, you know, they, and then they finish with, I'm not a troll. 
you know, <laughs> um, you know, and I don't think they're trolling. I think they're legitimately uh, annoyed at markets and I whatever. But the reselling community, they're no thieves here. I mean, people are doing incredible things. There are just such gracious, generous people in this community doing such wonderful things. And uh, you're helping me be a very small part of that in some of the charity efforts that we do. And I want to thank you for that. So, guys, thank you.